is a proud member of the Men Who Like Comic Book Society, of which Irwin is president. Damn right. I look forward to the big DC movie coming in 2016. And no, I'm not talking about the Justice League movie. Oh wait, it's called Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, right? Oh man, is that a stupid name. Though yes, my hometown of Anywhere USA was visited by Mr. Affleck, Snyder, Cavill, and Miss Godot for filming, but I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the one, the only, The Suicide Squad. Now, I've seen a lot of online news about possible casting choices or plot points, so I just have to nerd out for a moment. I hear the fans asking you something, Jay. Oh, you mean... Oh, Jay, you Herculean superhuman you. What is the Suicide Squad? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked, lovely viewer. Erwin, you look like you're about to pop, so please, enlighten these people. <gasps> okay, so Task Force X, aka the Suicide Squad, is a task force controlled by politician Amanda Waller, who uses imprisoned superheroes and antiheroes to undertake top-secret black ops missions for the United States government in exchange for commuted sentences. The only thing that keeps these guys from running away, though, is an explosive bracelet or collar or nanites. There you go. The roster of the team includes sharpshooter Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, martial artist Bronze Tiger, Louise Lincoln, a.k.a. Killer Frost, King Shark, George Harkness, a.k.a. Captain Boomerang, Leonard Snart, a.k.a. Captain Cold, Deathstroke, Dula Dent, a.k.a. the Joker's daughter, Roy Harper, a.k.a. Red Arrow, a.k.a. Speedy, and a.k.a. Arsenal, Black Manta, as well as my personal favorites, Manchester Black and Harley Quinn. The team is coming to the big screen, and you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm sitting in this theater when it comes out. But I just have to say that, with all respect to the movie makers, they better not mess this up. How can they possibly mess this up? Well, okay, for one... You gotta get the cast right. I cannot stress this enough. Make Harley funny. Make Deadshot a cold, money-motivated killer. Make Amanda the Wall Waller Amanda the Wall Waller. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Harley Quinn is quirky and manic. Deadshot is a mercenary with a chip on his shoulder. And Amanda Waller is a battle axe of a woman who will put your nads in a vice until you submit to her will, whether it be fighting for the government or slapping your mother. And then she'll crush them into a fine powder. Then... Whoa now! That, they get it, Erwin. They get it. Also, you could fit Captain Boomerang into the story. You could toss him into it, but it'll come right back to you. Yeah, I saw that coming. But, anyway. Characters are very important, yes, but not as important as the story. The Suicide Squad is a black ops group that the United States government does not want to be seen with. So, you have to make them do something truly despicable, like assassinate a government official, or fight a secret army, or break into Arkham Asylum, like in Batman Assault on Arkham. There's talk of Lex Luthor being in the movie, so at least use him to up the sleaze factor. Please evacuate this building. By the way, why the heck do they have that loser from Zombieland playing the greatest supervillain ever? They had Walter frickin' White on board, but no! They had to get that no-talent hack from the social media. I mean, what's he gonna do? Monologue for us? I mean, really, what the... Sorry about that. I, uh, I gave Erwin the latest Batgirl comic, and, um, I think he'll be fine for now. Barbara, no! Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I trust that Hollywood will do the property proud, because if they don't, well, Irwin's gonna lose it. Need I mention what happened when he saw The Dark Knight Rises? Let's just say I can't come within the same state as Christopher Nolan. Or Christian Bale. Or Michael Caine. Or Anne Hathaway. Wait, what? Oh yeah, did I forget to mention? The restraining order came in the mail this morning. Aw, oh, man.